folks. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. I am going to show you how to add handwritten animations to your videos in LumaFusion on an iPad. LumaFusion is a really amazing uh, application for editing. Uh, 4K, you can do three tracks of 4K. I'm actually working on a beginner's tutorial for it. So for those who want to get into mobile editing and want to give LumaFusion a try, it'll help get you going. But for today, I'm just going to show you how to add a handwritten animation to your to your videos. So I've got my scene set up. Basically, it's my girlfriend and our daughter just going for a little bit of a hike walk. And uh, I want to uh, put a handwritten animation over the top of it that just says family hiking. So now to do this, we're going to be using an app called Procreate. Now this can be done in other drawing apps. Um, it really helps if you have the Apple Pencil, but uh, we're going to be using Procreate. Um, Procreate isn't a free app. I can't remember how much Procreate is. I think it was $12 Canadian. So if you're from the US, it'll probably be under $10, but a really good app and you can use it for a lot of different things. So there's actually two ways we can go about this. Uh, Procreate actually has some built in recording tools, uh, but the problem with it is that it's a time lapse, so it goes very, very quickly. So I'm gonna show you both methods on how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do in Procreate is create a new canvas. So we're gonna hit the plus sign there, and I'm just gonna use the standard screen size one. And there it is there. And the background is white right now, and what we need to do is turn that green so we can chroma key it out later. So we're gonna to go to our background color, which is this icon here, and select background. And I'm just gonna select a green color there, but I might actually uh, make it a little more vibrant. Doesn't really matter as long as it's in the green family. So in the top right hand corner here, we can select the color of the text and I'm gonna leave it at red, but you can click on that and put it to whatever color you want. Now the next thing is, is the brush. There's all different types of brushes you can use. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using calligraphy and monoline, but you can get creative and do like some spray painting effects, calligraphy, all different stuff. So, you know, play around with it and uh, find out what you like best. So we'll go back to the main screen here and I'm just going to do a test for the size. You can change your brush size over here. So if you want something skinnier, you can do that, but I want a pretty big, heavy font. So we've picked the brush we want, the color we want, and the size of the brush. So now what we have to do is start a screen recording on iOS. So we're going to swipe up from the bottom and we are going to select the recording there and it's going to start. So once it starts recording, we're going to go back to the app here and we'll just type out or sorry, print out what we want. And I'm going to put family hiking. Just like so. Hopefully you have better penmanship than I do, but yeah, it'll work. So once we're done that, we are now gonna swipe back up from the bottom and go to the screen recording button there again and turn it off. So now we're gonna relaunch our LumaFusion. So from our main screen here, we're now gonna select the recording we just did of the screen and that's it there. And as you can see, it's gonna pick up all that other stuff, you know, before we uh, minimized everything. So we're gonna grab these handles here and we're gonna trim it just to the point where we start to write. So it's right about there, I'm gonna start it. And same at the end, we're gonna grab this handle. So we got that, we're happy with it. So we're now gonna just grab it by pressing down and pull it on top of the video here. We don't want it in front of the video, we want it over top of the video that we want it to overlay. So now if we play it, you can see the animation is there, but now we gotta get rid of that green color. We gotta key it out. So there's two ways we can do it. Uh, we can double tap on the title there, or we can click edit here. So here is the title, and uh, there's a couple things on the side here we can do. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is crop it because when we did the screen recording, of course, it's going to pick up the sidebar from Procreate and just extra information we don't need. So we're going to click on cropping and we can either crop by using these sliders or just by grabbing these handles here and pulling up and down side to side. And I'm actually going to move the jog wheel just so I know where everything is so I don't crop something out that I don't want to. 
crop the top down. So just like that. So now the next thing we're going to do is key out the green color. So we do so by clicking on this color and effects button located down here at the bottom. And uh, these are all the different presets that are there for editing, um, color correcting. Normally, if you're going to color correct a video, but we're going to be using it to get rid of the green there. And we go over to this little key icon, this little keyhole, and we click on it. And then we just kind of pick one that best suits what we're looking for. Um, you can see this one's already got the green cut out, so we can click on it. And there you go. You can see the font nice and easily. That one doesn't look as nice, obviously. And from here, we can still fine tune it. If we see a little bit of the green showing up, or uh, you know we're not happy with it, we can change the saturation range or brightness range. But it looks pretty good just the way it is, so we're going to leave it like that. So now let's bring the playhead all the way to the beginning, and we'll just see what it looks like. So it looked like it was playing a little bit too slow for me. I want to speed it up a bit. So if we go down to the bottom here where we got this little speed gauge, this is where we can adjust the play speed. So we can turn it down or up, but let's uh, do it by double. And let's uh, preview it. Perfect. So now we like that. Now the last thing we can do is change the size of it if we want. If we're happy with that, you can just leave it. So if we go back over to the frame and fit, again, this is where all our controls are. We can go to size and position. You can use these sliders over here to move it around or you can just use the handles and uh, you know, you can make it really small, big. You know, maybe you just want it down here in a corner. Let's uh, see what that looks like. We'll put our playhead at the beginning. You know, and that looks good too. So, you know, play around with it and find what you like. I'm just going to kind of leave it somewhere in the middle there. Maybe a little bit smaller. And yeah, I like that. So now if we go back to the main editing window and we can do a preview. So yeah, that looks good. And like I said, there's so many different variations you can do. You can get really creative in that Procreate app. You know, you can do all different types of uh, brushes, make it look more like spray paint, different things like that. It's also good for just signing your name if you want to do that at the end of the video. So that is one technique on how to add the animation. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, let's use Procreate and we'll do another technique here. So now I'm just going to delete this title we just made, uh, get ready for the new title. So we're going to go back to Procreate. And we'll go back to our gallery and uh, we're going to create a new one. And we'll do the same screen size. So in Procreate, up at the top here, if we go to settings, they have a section for recording video. And that's basically for artists who do really elaborate pictures. They can get like a time lapse of them creating it. Really cool effect. The problem with it is it's very fast. So if you draw a title and you go to play it back, it's just like, you know, and it doesn't give you enough, um, you can't see it being written. But you can do some more elaborate uh, doodling, um, take your time with it, and it works well. So I'll just show you how to do that. So again, we're going to go and change our background to green so we can key it out later. And I'll just maybe do that shade. And uh, this time I'm going to do a white brush. Just like that. And I'm going to leave it on the same brush that I had. And I'm just going to turn the size down a little bit. So here I'm going to take a little bit more time and that way it, the time lapse is a bit longer and I'm going to do some more coloring and shading in it and uh, just make it kind of look whimsical. So I might fast forward this part just so you don't have to be bored watching it. Okay, so I'm done my little doodling, and I purposely left it a little bit uh, messy, make it look like a kid drew it, 
Um, you know, so there's different techniques that you can uh, do there. So we're going to go to this little wrench icon here and we're going to play back our time lapse. We're just going to see what it looks like. So as you can see, even that took me, you know, two or three minutes to draw out, but it played it very quickly. Now we can slow it down when we're editing it, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's uh, go and we're going to export it as a video. So down here it says uh, export time lapse video. And we're going to save the video. So now if we go back to LumaFusion. Okay, so here it is here. So now before we drag it down, we're going to trim it a little bit. Just because it has the full uh, text at the beginning, which we don't want. We want it to start without that. So we're going to trim it until right about there. Just like that. So now we're going to drag that down to our timeline. Now, as you can see, it's going to be very short and very fast. So we're going to slow that down when we edit it. So again, to edit it, we can click edit or we can double tap the, the text there. So we're going to click edit. So the first thing we're going to do is frame and fit and we're going to change the position. We're going to shrink it down a little bit. Just maybe put it more in the middle there. We'll see where we're... So it's in the position we want. So now we are going to change the speed of it a little bit. I'm really going to slow it down just so it uh, takes a little bit longer. Yep, that looks good. So again, now we're going to key out the green. So we click on the little color and effects tab and then over to the key. And there we go, just like that. And again, we can adjust it if, we, uh, if we're not too happy with the way it looks. And actually, I think I'm going to slow it down even more. So now if we play it back here. So now I'm back at the original animation I was using. And I'll just show you here, if you don't want it to abruptly end, like if we go to the end of the timeline there. So if we go to the end there, if we play it. It just disappears quick. If we want to do something that's a little more subtle, uh, we can go to transitions. They have all different transitions here we can play with. Uh, we can just do a simple fade out. Just drag it to the end of the animation there. So it's all your preference and what you like best. So that's basically it. Very simple to add handwritten animations to uh, your videos using LumaFusion. If any of you are wondering what I'm editing with here before I go, I'm using the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. I've got the Apple Pencil and uh, the card reader from Apple and the Western Digital Hard Drive make a perfect pair. Makes for the ultimate mobile editing solution for 4K videos for your GoPro videos, drone videos, whatever you need. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.